When NASA finally released the full gallery of 3i Atlas images, I was simply frozen in front of the screen. For several minutes, I didn't blink, didn't move, and just tried to comprehend what exactly I was seeing. For the first time in history, 15 spacecraft across the solar system's attractor, from Martian orbital stations to distant interplanetary probes, from Hubble to Webb and Lucy, simultaneously turned their cameras towards a single interstellar visitor. In my scientific career, I have witnessed many incredible things, but I have never had a data set like this. Not for Oumuamua, not for Borisov, not for any cometary or asteroidal object. NASA conducted an unprecedented operation, the widest multi-spacecraft observational campaign in history on an object arriving from beyond our star. And the most amazing thing, every image taken from its own angle showed something different. The brightness, structure, tail direction, coma shape, halo behavior, and thermal profile all changed. It seemed that 3i Atlas was not just a comet, but a changing mystery, revealing new details with every new spacecraft. And for science, it is precisely such mysteries that prove to be the most valuable. When NASA involves one or two spacecraft to observe a passing body, that's standard practice. But when 15 missions are involved, including rovers, infrared telescopes, solar observatories, heliophysics satellites, and deep space probe stations, it's a signal. It means the object is considered not just interesting, but potentially capable of changing our understanding of nature. Let me list just some of the participants. Hubble, high detail morphology. James Webb, infrared composition analysis. SphereX, thermal signatures. MAVEN, ultraviolet imaging of the hydrogen halo. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, images of the dust cloud from high rise. PUNCH, visualization of solar wind interaction. PERSEVERANCE, observations from the Martian surface. Lucy, imaging from the depths of interplanetary space. Psyche, tracking trajectory deviations. Soho and stereo, observations near the sun. Europa Clipper, Parker, additional data. The interstellar object received attention on the level of a planetary mission. And this is no accident. 3i Atlas demonstrates behavior that goes beyond conventional models. Solar system comets behave predictably. Their shape and structure change smoothly and typically. 3i Atlas is the opposite. The tail shifts in unexpected directions, the coma size jumps, the nucleus flares brighter without an obvious reason, and the dust cocoon is much denser and more symmetrical than that of ordinary local comets. The more we study it, the stranger it looks. When I saw the Hubble image, it became clear why many scientists were alarmed. The object did not display the usual triangular tail characteristic of uneven dust ejection. Instead, it looked like a smooth, bluish drop of light, a symmetrical shell around a bright nucleus. It resembled a protective shell more than a chaotic fountain of particles. Ordinary comets eject material in bursts, but 3i Atlas seemed to release dust very evenly, almost controllably, as if ordered gas sources were operating beneath a solid crust. A single image implied so much. The nucleus is not destroyed even at a Martian distance from the sun. The dust is not scattering as it should. Gas emission is smoother than usual. The cocoon indicates deep reserves of volatiles. The color hints at an unusual mineral structure. Simply put, this is not a loose lump of ice. It's a resilient object formed under conditions unfamiliar to us. The MAVEN ultraviolet images also stunned colleagues. Instead of a small coma, the spacecraft saw a huge hydrogen halo whose size far exceeded predictions. 
Such a scale can mean only one thing, a colossal rate of water disintegration under ultraviolet light. That is, 3i Atlas is losing water in enormous volumes, despite its great distance from the sun. And here an old question arises. Why does the object release so much water where most comets remain frozen? There are three possible reasons. Internal heating, an unusually volatile composition, or a thick crust regulating emissions. All options are equally interesting and point to an origin foreign to us. The high-rise image from MRO was a true revelation. 3i Atlas did not look like a point. It appeared as a bright semi-arc, surrounded by a transparent dust veil. This suggests a large nucleus and uneven heating of its surface. Instead of a normal tail, we see an almost spherical envelope. Even from a distance of hundreds of kilometers, the dust was clearly distinguishable. The volume of ejected material is immense. Punch noticed a thin tail pointing sideways, not directly away from the sun. This is astonishing. Comet tails are always directed away from the sun due to solar wind pressure. The deviation could be explained either by local changes in the solar wind or by non-gravitational forces from asymmetric gas jets. Both are possible, but the latter echoes the mysterious acceleration of Oumuamua. This doesn't prove artificiality, but it shows the physics might be unconventional. The Psyche spacecraft observed 3i Atlas for eight hours and detected barely noticeable yet measurable deviations from a smooth trajectory. Such data helps separate purely gravitational effects from additional influences. All interstellar objects have shown deviations, and 3i Atlas is no exception. This speaks not of intelligence, but of the complexity of natural processes. SphereX recorded a bright thermal core, a hint of internal heating, gas pressure, or a dark, efficiently absorbing surface. Combined with MAVEN data, this points to a layered structure, possibly a crust over warmer, deep regions. Again, the behavior is atypical. Lucy observed the object from almost opposite Earth, yet the brightness was similar. This hints at high albedo, or unusual dust particle properties. Soho, however, barely detected it. A faint, yellowish signal, almost lost in the noise. Such a difference means the object poorly reflects visible light, but actively emits in the infrared and ultraviolet ranges. This is a key to understanding its composition. If we put it all together, a picture emerges. Hubble sees a blue droplet-shaped shell, MAVEN, a giant hydrogen halo, MRO, a white semi-arc, PUNCH, a displaced tail, PSYCHE, micro deviations in trajectory, SPHEREX, a hot core, WEB, chemical peculiarities, SOHO, weak visible reflection, PERSEVERANCE, fine dust, LUCY, uniform brightness, STEREO, vertical streaks, ATLAS, the first detection point. Each mission sees its own facet of a single object. And all the data together say one thing. We are facing not an ordinary comet, but an interstellar, natural object whose properties we have yet to explain. When I browse through the entire gallery, I remember what science exists for. For billions of years, 3i Atlas drifted in interstellar darkness and only for the briefest moment in cosmic history did it come close enough for us to study it. This collection of images is not just a set of beautiful pictures. It is humanity's attempt to read a message recorded in the dust, ices, and light of distant stars. A message sent long before humans appeared. Whether 3i Atlas carries traces of collisions of ancient worlds, fragments of exomoons, or unusual chemistry is not so important. What is important is that it expands our understanding of the universe. And for a scientist, that is the greatest gift an interstellar traveler can bring.